Hello and welcome to NAB 2015. We're here in the Sony booth at the camera set talking about our latest offerings in the Sydney Alta product line, which is to say our big imager series of cameras. Right now we've got the F5 right next to me, which is inside our newest offering, the Doc Doc as we affectionately call it, or the CBK 55BK is its official name. Now the Doc Doc's job is to take what is normally the very elegant and small package that is the F5 or F55 and allows it to be configured like a traditional ENG camera, which is to say now you've got a very flexible shoulder pad, you've got the ability to use it with conventional batteries that normally come with the camera or a series of different batteries, you've got complete control over audio in addition to extra audio inputs that are normally not found on the camera. So now you can bring in not only two channels of audio from the rear of the camera like you would with an ENG type camcorder, but you can bring in a stereo audio input from the front, as we're doing now with the great Sony stereo audio microphone. We've also got the ability to drop in a wireless microphone receiver. We get an additional two channels from that. So now we can record four separate channels of audio, some from the rear, some wireless, even some from the front of the camera. Besides that, we've got the ability to, again, think of it in a beefier configuration, a more of a built-up configuration that allows us to have more holes on the handle for greater accessory flexibility. We've even got a P-Tap connector on the side that's very popular for lights and things like that, which can also mount to the many holes on the top of the handle, and a whole series of other accessories that allow us to really build up the camera into a much more traditional configuration. So, using the build-up kit with a camera like the 5 or the 55 really expands the use of the camera. This is especially important when we start thinking about documentary production. Now, quite often people think of the 5 and the 55 for 4K production used for feature films. For example, the 55, right about the time any bees come around, is fresh on the heels of Annie, a big feature film, or uh, The Perfect Man, or a great show uh, called The Wedding Ringer. All these features basically shot with cameras like the 55 and the 65. But also, there's been a lot of activity with sports and things like that. And finally, 4K is making its way into the world of documentary and news production. So having things like the build-up kit, great products that allow us to kind of fill out that uh, usability, that form factor, really make it useful, especially as, again, 4K makes its way into about every level of production. And speaking of the use of 4K, we've often thought about 4K as just a concept about resolution. For the most part, really referring to three key ideas, one of which, of course, is resolution. The other is the idea of an expanded color space or a wider color gamut. And then finally is the idea of HDR. Now, a lot of my colleagues have talked very passionately about HDR here at the Sony booth. And certainly, anybody who's shot just about anything with either our 65 or 55 or like this camera, the 5, really have the ability to take full advantage of what HDR really is. These are 14-stop cameras. Cameras. And that 14 stop range plays perfectly into the world of high dynamic range or HDR. So people who've been shooting raw with these cameras, or if they've even been shooting on to S by S cards, such as video codecs, then you'd be able to once again fully take advantage of what HDR is. And if you've been shooting for years now, for example, with the, the 65 or the 55, the 5, all that footage that you shot is already protected, it's already ready to go for the world of HDR. So it's really amazing to be able to have footage that you've archived for years now kind of work perfectly with such an exciting concept. So now we've got the resolution that we've always thought about as being part and parcel with 4K, but now we've got the contrast to go along with it, or the HDR component, and with cameras like the 55 and the 65, even the color, their wide color space, the widest of any camera in the world, that color really plays into the concept of HDR and the resolution as well. So it's again great to think of all the stuff you shot really is now coming alive in a way that really almost no one has ever seen before. Now, those grand schemes are complemented by the idea that new software updates still come out for the 5 and the 55 and even the 65. Right now at NEB, we're talking about version 6 for these cameras. So they're just a few years old and we're already up to version 6, mostly based on the ideas of products that features that people want to see inside these products. So, for years now, we've been paying attention to the voice of the customer with things that they want inside the cameras, and we've been doing our best to implement those inside. So, at this NEB, we're showing off the idea with version 6, all kinds of great stuff. For example, there's an optional board we can put in to allow people to work with not only ProRes, but also DNX. And with our version 6 software, you'll be able to take advantage of a lot of flavors, if you will, of ProRes, up to and including 12-bit recording with 444 color sampling. So that's one of the great new features, for example, for version 6. We've also got the ability to upgrade an F5, if you will, all the way to an F55. So we can take out the imager that's inside the camera, upgrade it with the new 55 imager. We can 
can also incrementally upgrade a 5 towards the 5's capabilities, or 55's capabilities, that is, by now giving you the ability to record 4K inside, 4K video is XAVC, but also output 4K from a quartet of BNCs on the side of the camera, but also via an HDMI connector on the side of the camera. So we can take an F5 and slowly but surely wake its way towards an F55, really increasing the versatility of the camera and also allow you to go to, again, the widest color space in the world and extra recording options and flexibility. So lots of great things here. The camera set for our big imager cameras, our Cine Alta family, if you will, here at NAB 2015, starting with our wonderful Doc Doc, great new software that's all free, and also some paid upgrade options, like the ability to record with new codecs, and also the ability to upgrade cameras like the F5 incrementally. And with every passing month, new feature films are being released, new TV shows are coming out, and of course, Trident 2 TV shows that are basically some great success stories for our cameras. For example, the 55, it's basically shooting the top rated shows, it's what every genre. We've got Two and a Half Men, we've got The Blacklist, we've got countless shows being shot with cameras like the 55 and the 65, and again, more and more feature films with every passing month. So, super proud of the great success that our cameras have had between the 5 and 55 alone. Almost 6,000 cameras have been sold. So, they keep going strong, new features, new capabilities. We look forward to great things from these cameras when we talk again next year at NDB 2016. If you have any more questions between now and then, please go to sony.com forward slash professional, and we'll hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.